Hey, what's up guys? I know it's been a minute since I've uh, made a video and I apologize about that. I had a lot of different things going on in my life. Had to move, new job, things like that. Um, but I wanted to quickly make a uh, small video here because uh, this change is huge. Uh, especially if you're someone who has been thinking about getting FL20 and you use Ableton um, or any other DAW where organization is actually pretty easy. Uh, that's always something that I liked the freeness of FL Studio and being able to do whatever you want, but it was a little tedious. I mean, let's let's be honest. If you wanted to color coordinate everything, have names and everything, you're changing colors on your mixer, on your instrument racks, on your timeline. So it was just it was a lot to do, and it was a little tedious. But they just introduced playlist track mode. Organize projects and speed workflow by grouping a channel, instrument, playlist track, and mixer track. Changes to the name, color, and or icon of any member in the group and will ripple throughout the chain. Alternatively, drop instrument and effect plugins or audio files on playlist track headers. That's what I've honestly become a bit of a fan of. Um, and let's see if they have it here. Uh, they don't mention what they did with automation, but it is simply amazing so if I were to go ahead and open up uh, my arrangement view you can see I've got a little bit of tracks going on here um, but if I were to let's make this a little smaller just so I can more easily show this so we have our playlist view and then let's also get our channel rack and I'll just middle click I'll go ahead and grab a new serum and now you can drag and drop directly to a track on your playlist view. <clears throat> and this is really cool. So I'll just, you know, who cares, put a couple notes, right? Just so you can see, it's here, it's here, and it's also right here. Now, let's say I want to make this, oops, not auto name, oops, my bad. Let's say I want to call this lead 02 and I want it to be blue. Check it out. Lead 02, lead 02, lead 02. Now, let's say we also wanted, let me uh, undetach this, add a, here I know that's not actually doing anything but I'm trying to keep it simple, add a uh, <coughs> automation clip, boom. Automation clip, automatically named which it did that before but it automatically groups it to the uh, track above it so now you can much more easily keep your projects organized this feels a little bit more like Ableton Live um, and I'm surprised that they're doing that because I don't know what all Ableton has patents on and whatnot uh -huh. I'm just waiting for them to bring warping into this you know like in Ableton and then at that point I mean Honestly, I, I've only been using Ableton if I'm going to do anything with vocals or with samples because I prefer to warp them in there and then bring them into FL. So ImageLine has been making some amazing updates. This one, whenever I noticed that they made this update because I've been busy, I immediately wanted to jump back into FL and uh, get straight to working on some new stuff. So now that I'm back, I'll be able to make videos much more often. Uh, so if you have any requests or anything like that, something that you just can't figure out, I can go ahead and give it a shot and see if I can figure it out and make a video about it. So, uh, and also, the last time I uploaded videos under 100 subs, and I'm over 200, so I know that might not sound like a lot, but I really do appreciate it. Um, it means a lot to me, and I'll go ahead and try to keep making some content for you guys. So uh, thanks for uh, watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, please tell me why, and I'll go ahead and try to do better in the next one. Uh, I actually appreciate feedback. So you guys have a good rest of your day and uh, enjoy the update. It's awesome.